at the kids' meeting. Okay, Let's see what you're doing. With Aquafina channeling her inner Sandra Bullock in the film's freshly released trailer, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings promises a fun, action-packed ride. But, like any good Marvel trailer, it left us with a lot of questions. Is Wen Wu, the leader of the Ten Rings organization, the MCU's version of the real Mandarin? And most importantly, what are the Ten Rings and what powers lie in every single one of them? Now while I'm sure that you want to hear all about these topics, today's video will focus on ranking the Ten Rings and explaining the powers that lie within them. You don't know the history of the Mandarin himself. The first on today's list is the Flame Blast Ring. Also known as incandescence, the ring gives its wearer the ability to emit an infrared radiation heat beam which has the power to produce flames. Resembling the X-Men Pyro's abilities, whoever is wielding incandescence can control and shoot fire from their hands directly. And while this is a pretty cool and visually pleasing power to have for the camera, it ranks lower compared to other rings in terms of power and use. It's true that the ring could cause a lot of damage, but when faced against a group of heroes who are literally jumping through flames on a daily basis, it seems a bit underwhelming. It also might find its match with characters capable of cryokinesis like Iceman, or the powerful Storm who can control the weather and rain down on flames, extinguishing them in a matter of seconds. Speaking of Storm, at number 9 on the Ten Rings list is the power of thunder. The almighty Asgardians know how lightning-empowered beings are to be feared. I mean, just look at Thor wielding his amazing hammer Mjolnir! Now, the Electroblast Ring, or lightning, holds the power of lightning. Emitting powerful electrical energy currents, it gives its owner Raiden-style abilities. While someone controlling electricity should be avoided at all costs, it also has its weaknesses. The more we advance into the MCU, the more technologically advanced the universe becomes. From Iron Man's chunky Mark I to his endgame suit and Spider-Man's iron spider armor, things are rapidly moving tech-wise. And that's just Tony Stark. Just look at what Wakanda and Shuri can do with their high level of intelligence. Just look at Sam Wilson's latest Captain America suit. Well, keeping up with the elemental ring theme, let's talk about the Vortex Beam Ring. The ring, nicknamed Spin, sources its powers from the element of air. Just like the Scarlet Witch, Vision, the Falcon, and many others, the Vortex Beam Ring will give Wenwu the ability of flight. It allows the Crime Lord to control the air around him and create a vortex out of it, which makes flying possible. Now, this might explain the Wuxia, or the Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon inspired scene where he's fighting a mysterious green clad lady in the trailer. Wearing all ten rings on his arms, it feels like he's floating and weighs nothing. While flying is a pretty useful skill to have, with the use of spin, Wen Wu will also be able to use it as a weapon and harness the full strength of the air that surrounds him. Gusts of power wind, or even a full blown tornado, might be in the forecast for Shang Chi. The Ice Blast Ring, also called Zero, is what Mortal Kombat's Lin Kuei warrior Sub Zero would wear if he was a character in the MCU. The last of the elemental type rings grants its wearer the power to produce extreme cold and ice. With this ring around his wrist, Wen Wu can not only create ice and use it as a weapon against his enemies, but he can also control someone's temperature. Now, this can be used to stun someone, as the cold would make the victim more or less paralyzed, but it also holds the power to have someone's body temper drop to absolute zero. Needless to say, it'd be really hard to survive an attack of this kind. The Ice Blast Ring owner can also create huge blocks of ice to encase their enemies in, trapping them in a cage which will slowly affect their temperature as it keeps dropping. The Disintegration Beam Ring, named Spectral, is one powerful weapon in itself. By channeling the ring's power, Wen Wu can summon an impressive energy blast which disrupts the bond between molecules and atoms. This has the consequence of breaking apart the thing that its wearer is aiming at. While this sounds like quite an OP weapon to have, there are, however, some technicalities. You see, Spectral can only disintegrate inanimate objects, which prevents the Mandarin from going full fatality on the Marvel superheroes. The other factor that makes it a little less powerful than it sounds is the fact that it needs to be recharged every 20 minutes. Unfortunately for the supervillain, I highly doubt that anyone would wait that long to strike back, despite some anime battles where conversations between two enemies are sometimes longer than the punching itself. Alright, so to start off today's top 5, let me introduce the Impact Beam Ring, which is also given the name Influence. 
This ring emits strong energy, which can be used to deflect incoming projectiles no matter their size or knock out opponents. By using it, one can also manipulate magnetic waves and create sonic vibrations. Its first mode, Concussive Blast, is very similar to the X-Men Cyclops' optic beams and can push away someone with forceful energy without necessarily killing them in the process. Its second setting, which fires a sonic blast, can be useful to disorient people and could be one of the rare weapons useful against Venom if he ever actually crosses over to the MCU and is pit against other superheroes or supervillains who don't only belong in the Spider-Man universe. Getting closer to the number one spot is the Black Light Ring, more commonly known as Nightbringer. Just like its name hints at, Nightbringer can create pitch black darkness in specific zones as it absorbs all light. This could be useful for stealth purposes or to disorient an opponent as its wearer can sneak attack and come out of the darkness. The Black Light Ring can also be used to make a quick exit in case of emergency if the wielder ever gets into hot water. Oh, and just like the cloak from Cloak and Dagger, Nightbringer's power comes from the Dark Force dimension, which provides Cloak with his dark powers. Now, if Cloak can teleport people into that dimension, there's a chance that Wen Wu can also do the same. A fight between him and his son Shang-Chi in a pitch black world would be more than awesome. The Medal of Bronze goes to the Matter Rearranger Ring, or Remaker. Remaker is something like the Disintegration Beam Ring, as it can manipulate the atomic level of basically anything. This gives its wearer the power to turn liquids to gas, or gas to solid, and everything in between. While not at the Scarlet Witch's level, the ring can alter reality and turn basically anything into a weapon. You could change the air in a room into some kind of airborne poison and end pretty much all of your enemies at once, or change rain into metallic shards falling from the sky right on your enemies. If you think about it, it's kind of a mix of the four elemental rings with extra perks. Today's runner-up is the OP White Light Ring. Stylishly named Daimonic, the ring allows its user to produce electromagnetic energy, but its most impressive feature is to grant the owner the ability to alter gravity itself. Just like Dagger has opposite powers to cloak, Daimonic is the flip coin of Nightbringer. Using the power of white light, it can create light bursts, but also image projection to modify its surroundings in a non-material way and to confuse everyone around them in the process. Now, what's really OP about the white light ring is that every feature can be combined at once. So, Wenwu could shoot people with light beams while altering gravity making people float around and use various illusions of himself to make things even more chaotic. Most rings previously mentioned on today's list involved a lot of destruction, powerful beams, or elemental powers that could cause maximum damage. The Mento Intensifier Ring, adequately nicknamed the Liar, is not one of those. Its power lies in mental powers. It might not be a Professor X's level of psychic abilities, but it's nevertheless the most powerful of the Ten Rings. Now, it holds two main powers. First, a little like the White Light Ring, it can create illusions, but on a grander scale. Second, it can literally paralyze the minds of people targeted by its powers. The Ten Rings organization may have been slightly featured since the first Iron Man, but I wonder how it would fit in the grand multiverse scheme of Phase 4. Shang-Chi being the rightful heir to the rings will probably have a major role in the upcoming madness awaiting behind the portals to the multiverse.